Hi guys, welcome back to shop. Hey, today I'm going to jump back on the TS-185 boring job that we did a few episodes back. Uh, I've been waiting on some new stones for my home and I've got those in, got them ready to go. And uh, we're going to hone this and fit the piston and check the ring gap. So let's get with it. Okay, before we get started here, I'm just going to verify my equipment, clean up my standard and the micrometer. Okay. You see here we're zeroed out. We're checking with a two inch standard. So we're good. Micrometer's set, ready to go. And the next thing I wanna do is move on to uh, my dial bore gauge. Let me get you over there. Okay, we do much the same thing. This is the standard for my sun and bore gauge and I've got the appropriate tip in there you check at these lines and it should be at this tolerance that's right here 2.00004 which we're not going to be able to measure it's, it's basically zero okay so it, it is I think you can see that Okay, so we're set at zero there. Now we go over to the setting standard and we verify that it is also set at zero. <clears throat> Let me see if I can get you a little closer. Okay, once we have it in the nest, you just rock it a little bit and you set it on zero here which it is and then you just rock it from to make let it kind of settle out there and that's where we're at so we're zero on the micrometer setting and of course uh, when you're measuring two inch anything you've got to have the two inch uh, standard in here and then it adds on from the from here and the uh, uh, micrometer it'll add on half half inch or whatever you're measuring but at the zero on the standard to zero on here, to zero on the gauge. We're ready to do some checking. But before we do anything, we've got to go over and measure the piston. And then we'll come back over and set the gauge up and go, uh, go ahead and do our boring and then we'll be able to check it. All right, we're back over at the, uh, at the cylinder here and what we're going to do is just make sure the new piston is clean. Wouldn't hurt to wipe this out a little bit, but it's not going to go in there. We're just going to use it to hold it. Um, the, the proper measuring distance is 0.8 in thousandths we're talking here. Um, so from the bottom of the skirt, so right there, actually there's some indication that it may be at one also, but in the measuring of the cylinder, it tells us to measure at 0.8 from the top. So there's not much difference between 0.8 and, and one as, as far as your uh, measurement is of the piston. Pistons are tapered, they're smaller at the top and get bigger at the bottom. And the reason 
it's critical about where you measure is that it the reason it's smaller at the top is because that's where it's going to expand the most because it's getting the heat from the from the uh, spark plug firing and it's also a heavier mass there so as it heats up this is going to expand more than this thin area back here so it's critical where you measure so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this in here makes it easier for me to to measure and I know it's uh, it's two and a half thousandths. It's probably going to be more than that, two something. So that, I just kind of look at my mark and get a feel for, for the piston there. I know it's rocking, don't worry about that. Just, just get your feel. Okay, what have we got? <clears throat> okay, we're at uh, 2.538. 2.538. Okay, so I'm making a note of that. And I, I measured that several times there just to make sure. Now, again, it's telling us to measure at about 0.8 from the top. Actually, let me, uh, I'm going to transfer that to a, I'm sorry, I think I cut you off. I, I said I was going to transfer it to a T-square. Because this caliper didn't really want to get in there. So that's about it right there. So you can see about how far that is down, okay? And it's, it's critical, but you know, you, you don't want to make it ridiculous either. Okay, so that's looking like a half inch above the port or so, exhaust port. So I'm gonna put my snap gauge in there when you're using a snap gauge, you uh, you put it in there. You give it kind of a a uh, a downward motion. I'm downward this way, and then I tighten it up. Then I rock that snap gauge out of there this way, and that should give me exactly the size of that bore right there. Well, if I get that off, it'd be easier to... Okay, so I'm at uh, 5, 25, 34 and a half. So about 2.5345. Let me measure it one more time. Again, stick it in here. I, I put the, the small end down. I don't think it really matters, but that I try to be consistent about how I do it. Okay, and then, whoops, that's not good. Measuring is about consistency and repeatability. If you can't get either one, uh, you can't trust it. And, you know, a snap gauge is not super highly accurate or anything, but, you know, you, you do it enough times where you can believe the measurement you're talking about. Okay, still pretty close. Yep, right on it. So that's, uh, 
that's good enough for me. I repeated it twice. It was consistent and I believe what I, what I measured. Okay, now I'm going to go over and set up the dial bore gauge. Okay, now we're over here and uh, you have different tips for your bore gauge and it tells you what right here, I'm not sure you'll be able to see that, but uh, I've got the one in there to check for my zero, but I'm going to be measuring 2.538, so it says between 2.375 and 2.750, which that is, to use a number two tip. So that's what I've got right here. So I'm going to pull this out now, and here's where the tip is. And I'll go ahead and remove that. And we'll get the, the number two tip in. It's, uh, it's marked right here on the flat. Let me get my stuff put up here. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run this out to 2.538. Again, this piece right here constitutes two inches. I know it looks bigger than that, but that's how it's set up. That's the number two mandrel. Okay, so then we take care of the rest of it out here. Oops, let me get past it. Okay, there's two and a half, three, eight, I think. I can't see because of the, the camera. Just a second. Okay, got that set, and I've locked, got it locked in. Okay, I need to run that in a little bit further. I've got it kind of rocket in the nest there and I want to have some preload on it so that I can have some plus and minus measurements if I need them so I'm just going to go with where it is it's uh, about on the five here so at that point I'm going to adjust this to as close to zero as I can and then tighten it up It may move a little bit, but it's close enough now where I can just zero it right there. Okay. So there it is. That one's, that one's set up. And it's zero. We, did, uh, we, we checked it with the standard. We checked our gauge, or our uh, micrometer, and now we're checking the gauge. And we, a we actually have the size of the piston measured at the appropriate place, put into the dial bore gauge. Now, uh, any indication that it gives us will be either plus or minus of that size of the piston at that location in the cylinder. Okay, back over at the cylinder here. And again, we're going to measure this at about 0.8 of an inch from the top. Get this kind of turn so you can see it. And I'm going to rock that until it stops. So that's telling me it's about two ten thousandths bigger than the piston right now. Okay, so what we we're wanting to get is, uh, let me check my reading here, two to two point or two thousandths to uh, two and four ten thousandths on your reading. So otherwise we would want to be about there, about two to maybe two point or two four. But we're right now at 
at about two to three ten thousandths, two, two ten thousandths bigger than the piston now at that point. And that's the point they tell us to measure at. You measure 0.8 from the bottom of the piston and 0.8 from the bottom or from the from the top of the cylinder. Okay, now we're ready to hone. Okay, we're over at the hone. Okay, we've got it pretty close to, the, to where we need to be. We'll just tighten it as we go along. Okay, we're now at about uh, uh, five ten thousandths. So we've got quite a ways yet to go.
Okay, we're at about one eight. Right now, one eight, one nine. Getting close. I can't see whether you can see or not. <laughs> hey, whiz. Okay, right at two. I think the light is messing with me here. I'll go just a little bit more. Maybe if I turn this, get you over here. I don't know if that's any better or not. Ah, my lever came off here. All right. I think we're going to go with that. Looks good to me. Okay guys, back over at the bench. I think we've, we're to where we need to be. Um, I'm going to measure it right here.
hoping you can see that. Two. Two thousandths. And the spec was two to two point or two four. Um, so I'm going to get you overhead here now and I'm going to measure it with the uh, snap gauge just to verify. All right, let's check this thing. Okay, there you go. Let's see, the original one was 2538 and we're at 2540. So that's two thousandths. Okay guys, I just I just want to show everybody the difference on this piston, just for the sake of argument. See the top here? I'm showing it at about 252.3. And the bottom, 2539. Uh, so you're looking at 13, 14 thousandths difference between the top and the bottom. You know, that's, that's huge. So it's, I don't know if you can see that or not, but, you know, it, that's a big deal. But they, the manufacturers have got it all figured out, how much this grows and this, how much this end grows. So that's why you've got to measure in, in the particular places that they tell you. Now I'm going to get into the chamfering. Okay, let's just take a look at our cylinder here. Hopefully I've got this so it doesn't really blind you down in there. I'm really happy with the finish. Okay, let me get set up and we'll start chamfering the ports. All right, let's get on with this. Really, it's just the tops and the bottoms that you need to concern yourself about. I'm not sure how much of this you're able to see.
remember if they just run your finger in that it's the your finger is the best gauge of this if it comes out of there bloody here you need to work on it not really no you can feel it you can feel it if it's sharp you'll feel that no doubt about it just kind of press hard not hard but against as you're pushing that all feels great Now we still got uh, some around here that we'll need to take care of. Yeah. I think we're good. All right, I'll get it in the ultrasonic cleaner, get it cleaned up, get studs put back on it, and uh, good to go. Okay, now we, uh, I've got the ring in there squared up with the piston and the ring gap is supposed to be 6 to 14 thousandths and 31 max that's all thousandths and what I've got here is a 10 10's a good drag okay so that one's within the 6 to 14 so we're good on that one let's get the other one in there I'll just go ahead and try the 10 again. Yep. Usually they're they're all pretty close. So there you go. 10 thousandths, uh, 0.25 millimeter. So everything is good on this cylinder. It's ready for service. Okay, guys, there you have it. Got another cylinder bored, honed, piston fitted, and chamfered. And all I've got left to do, oh, and the rings, uh, the ring gap check. All I got to do is clean it up, get the studs on, and they get Loctite and blue Loctite, and uh, put it in a box, send it back to where it came from. I'm sure he'll be glad to get it. So, hey, thanks for going along on the ride. And we'll see you next video.